Vented dryers versus ventless. What's the difference and which is better? Hi, my name is Renee and I'm an appliance care and maintenance specialist. To vent or not to vent? That is the question. But before I can answer that question, we have to talk about what we're venting or not venting. Clothes dryers dry your clothes by using air and heat to remove water via evaporation. As your laundry moves around and hot air is blown through it, minuscule, slightly damp pieces of textiles, hairs, dust, and other small debris will be knocked loose and fall off. All of these tiny bits combine to form what's called lint. If the water isn't removed from your clothing, your clothing will not dry. And if the lint isn't removed, your clothing will come out looking even worse than before you washed it. Whether your dryer is vented or ventless, every dryer has to find some way of removing both the moisture from your clothing and the lint that's a natural byproduct of the drying process. In a traditional vented dryer, the water and lint that are removed from your clothing are vented to a different area, ideally to outside, via the dryer's vent tube. As the water is heated, it evaporates and is easily blown out of the dryer as it's carried through the air. Assuming your dryer's venting is installed and maintained correctly, of course. And that hot, humid air that's moving through your dryer also carries lint. After the lint is shed from your laundry, it makes its way through your dryer's venting system, which begins at the lint filter. The lint filter catches most of the lint but not all of it. Smaller bits of lint that are even too small for the lint filter to catch make their way through the dryer to the dryer venting. Because the lint is not yet completely dry, some of it will become stuck to the inside of the venting tube and the rest will be blown outside. This is why you might sometimes find dryer lint in the area near the outside end of your dryer's venting and why lint accumulates inside your dryer's vent tube. Every time you run a vented dryer, another layer of lint gets added to the layer that was already stuck there from before. Kind of like a weird, less artistic, utilitarian version of paper mache. Over time, this lint buildup does dry out, and it becomes so dry that if you let it accumulate for too long, it can pose a fire risk. Dryer lint is even well known in the camping world to be an excellent fire starter. That's why it's important to make sure that you clean or replace your dryer's venting at least once a year, which is what most manufacturers recommend. 